here is the pdf this pdf has 15 steps and will take around two hours step one is to install zowe cli step two is for mac users if you are using mac then you have to follow step two i'm on windows so i will go to step three in step three i have to first set up npm so let's go to vs code here click on terminal then new terminal then type cmd so give here cmd then give the command npm i hyphen g at the rate zowi slash cli so give here npm i hyphen g at the rate zowi slash cli the command ran successfully then run the command zowe give here zowe then you will see the output like this that means zoe was successfully installed let's go to step 4 in step 4 it is asking us to enter the command zowe we have already done that then we can go to this link to learn more about zowe in step 5 we have to enter the command zowe console and hit enter so give here zowe console and hit enter and this is the output this is the description of zowe console then in step 6 we have to give this command so let's give it zowe zos hyphen jobs then give double hyphen help then give hyphen examples and press the enter key and you can see all the commands that are available in zos jobs examples are also given in step 7 i have to enter this command zowe zos jobs list jobs so let's give here Z -O -W -E, zos jobs list jobs and these are all the jobs related to my user id now issue the same command with double hyphen rfj so this is the command then give double hyphen rfj press enter and you can see these are all the jobs and you can see owner phase of system phase name job correlator job id class job name and the return code as well in step 8 i have to allocate a data set and then list it the name should be zoeps this is how i will list the properties before that i have to create this data set so the command is zowe zos hyphen files create create data set sequential and then name z04085 dot zoe ps press enter data set created successfully now let us see the attributes of this data set by giving this command list ds file name hyphen a so let's give here zowe zos files list ds then the name of the data set 04085.zowe ps then give hyphen a and these are the attributes of the created dataset. It is a PS dataset. Record length is 80. Now in step 9, it is asking us to delete this dataset. So the command will be zowe zos files delete data set name of the dataset 04085.zowe.ps hyphen f press enter data set deleted successfully and then we have to recreate this data set again with some customized attributes record length should be 120 and block size should be 9600 so let's give zoe zos files create data set hyphen sequential name of the data set 
then give block size blk 9600 and then record length and record length as 120 press enter data set created successfully then let's list the properties and you will see block size is 9600 and record length is 120 let us now go to step 10 in step 10 it is giving more information about vsam you can read it in step 11 we have to build a vsam data set here is the online link where you can read about it the name of the data set should be vsam ds so the command is very simple zowe zos files create data set vsam then the name of the data set z04085.vsam data set and give the volume where the data set will reside so you can give zxpl01 here is the volume you can see zxpl01 press enter there is a spelling mistake here it should be files instead of file so let's give here files press enter data set created successfully in step 12 we have to add records to it data is in zxp public dot sample data the sample repro jcl is given in public.jcl we can download in our own jcl we have to name that file repro.txt and we have to submit it using zowe so let's do this let's go to public.jcl here is public.jcl here go to repro in repro you will find the sample jcl this is the jcl control a copy everything you can create a notepad and paste it here save it as repro.txt now in this jcl what you have to do is either we can leave it here or we can also give our own user id like this z04085.vsam dataset save it and close then what we can do is give here zoe jobs submit local file repro.txt then press the enter key this is the job id 2985 so let's go to jobs 2985 condition code 0 let's check this is print and you will see number of records processed was 1000 condition code was 0 so step 12 is complete let's go to step 13 in step 13 it is giving more information about the repro command in step 14 we have to print the data sets and the output format should be character so let's go to repro.txt control and copy here is repro copy let's call it print open it and here instead of repro i have to give print remove the input line it is not required print in data set and then the name of the data set which is this one then give her count thousand records and here give character Control S to save. So let us now submit this job. Let's call it print submitting job. Job ID 2987. Condition code 0. Let's check the output. Here is the output. 1000 records are printed in the output. Now in the final 15th step, we will need a sequential dataset ZOEPS, a VSAM dataset VSAMDS and we have to create a new sequential data set output vsam print and put 20 lines of the idcams print command so let's go to vs code here you can see we have zops we have vsam data set as well and we need to create output dot vsam print so let's create it right click create new data set z04085 dot output dot vsam prn vsam prnt press enter data set sequential allocate data set so here is output dot vsam print we need to copy lines 1 to 20 of this print so here is this print so here is one line number one to line number 20 control c to copy go to vsam print control v to paste then give control s to save and then submit check a jcli here is check a jcli right click and submit job job submitted 3004 
3004 condition code 0. So let's go to our website, go down and click on challenge complete. And congratulations, you have completed the ZOWE challenge. You have completed this challenge. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.